The Genesis Hockey League held their draft recently and it had all the trappings of an NHL entry draft. Eligible players were surrounded by friends and family waiting to hear their name called. There were handshakes, photo ops. They even had a draft board. But amidst all the pomp and circumstance, one thing was missing. Real hockey players. Everyone picked was a rookie in the truest sense of the word. Well, we uh, started a hockey league called uh, Hockey for Dummies, and we um, uh, we it just got it got huge. We went um, uh, we started to do, make it bigger, make it more of a draft um, where the players get drafted to different teams. We're doing the original six series where the players um, are drafted to the original six team from the NHL, and uh, we treat them much like the professionals or the pros that. Uh, 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 like they would, only these players have never played hockey before, ever. Now maybe we could get into the forming of the league then. How tough was it to, uh, to find players in, of similar skill level? The players themselves wasn't hard to find at all. The, um, they've been coming from everywhere. There's a lot of um, armchair uh, athletes out there that have watched hockey, loved it, but never got an opportunity to play hockey, much like myself. Uh, so we... Um, uh, we decided to form the league because of the demand. We played last year, um, did a pilot project for it to see what kind of uh, response we would get. It was overwhelming. We had to to, um, uh, to turn players away last year, so uh, thus the draft today and having 84 players in our league. As an adult, how, how tough is it to pick up the sport? Uh, not hard at all, actually. I, I took figure skating when I was little, and then playing hockey was... It wasn't too bad. Like everybody in the dummies is really friendly and they're willing to help you out. And when you're first starting, they let you have breakaways and they pass you the puck. And so it's really easy to get involved. And who are you playing for this year? I'm the Detroit Red Wings. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> it's a good team. I think it'll be a fun year. Now, do you feel any extra pressure being the first overall pick? Um, no. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> the Rangers actually did pretty good last year. Um, okay. I played goalie, but unfortunately I had the uh, wrong hands in the equipment, so uh, this year is going to be a lot better. Better goaltending, better players. We're going to dominate. I guess one of the challenges, I guess, would be to, uh, to remember that uh, a lot of them don't know really any of the rules in hockey. So uh, I guess one of the biggest challenges is to try to coach them along, to try to help them out, um, let them know when they're offside, and if you make a call, have to explain to them why you've made a call, because a lot of times they don't understand why you've made the call. Um, last year was, was good. By the end of the season, they, they got a really good grasp of, of the game of hockey, and so it made it a lot, a lot simpler. <laughs> what kind of uh, skating experience do you have heading into your first league, first year in the GHL? I've been skating since May. So when I started, I couldn't skate at all. Why did you want to take it this, to the next step here? Uh, it's great. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Do you enjoy the fact that uh, you know the league itself has sort of done an event like uh, this to sort of welcome the new players and uh, get things started off on the right foot? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, everybody that hasn't played hockey before obviously is less intimidated by coming to something like this, so I think it's good for everybody. It's, uh, it's a good atmosphere. Nobody's intimidated by anything. Everybody's here to help each other, so it's good. Good atmosphere. Uh, but we really want to create that atmosphere where the professionals or the players are treated just like professionals even though they're as amateur and uh, as it gets. Tell us about the league itself. Uh, when do you run? I understand you're, you're here at the Virgil Arena, is that right? That's right. We're here at the Virgil Arena. Um, who have Clive, the uh, convener here, has been just fabulous for us. He's really worked hard to uh, help us with this event and make it uh, uh, what, what it is today. Um, mm -hmm. We play Saturday nights at uh, 9, 10, and 11 o'clock. We've got three different games that uh, run every Saturday starting October the 11th. You can keep track of the league on the web at the GHL.com. Okay, In Niagara, this is the source.